Hi guys, you're welcome back to Explore Insights. In today's content, I'd like to show you on how to use Star UML to draw your data flow diagram. Specifically, we'll be drawing the context diagram, which is also known as level zero. So we'll be using this case study, coffee ordering system. Do well to check my previous video on the explanation of this coffee ordering system. Additionally, if you don't know how to install the star UML, please do well to watch the installation of star UML in my channel. Are you just joining for the first time? Subscribe to this channel. So let's quickly dive in. So let me take it through on how to use the star UML software. So the first thing to do is click on model, click on add diagram in this add diagram you'll see different diagrams but in this video we want to look at data flow diagram so click on data flow diagram and what do you see you'll see the four components which are the external entity the process the data store and the data flow so going back to the case study which is the coffee ordering system it says, consider Sweet Coffee, a new coffee shop at CDUT University campus. The shop owner recently decided to develop a coffee ordering system. So in this case study, we want to develop a coffee ordering system. Now for us to debit the coffee ordering system, we'll be using the process components. But let's read more. The system takes orders directly from the customer. So that's our first tax. So which system? It means the coffee ordering system. So let me go ahead to draw the process components for the system. So I'll just come here, click on process and drag here. I'll be renaming that as coffee ordering system. So the next thing I want to do is to find out who the system will be dealing with and what action is being taken. So let's see, since the system takes orders directly from the customer, the customer in this case will represent the external entity. Since we say external entity are also referred to as actors. So the system is dealing with the customer. Now let's go ahead to draw the external entity. Just paste and drag. I rename that as customers. Now, what is the data flowing information? That means the action. It says the relationship between the system and the customer reads, takes orders. But a lot of students make mistake just putting down takes orders. Remember, the rule for data flow diagram says that for you to label the data flow, label it as now. So we'll take away the verb and use others, which is the now. So I'll come here, click on data flow. Don't make the data flow diagram to be difficult. But how do we know how to face the data flow diagram? Especially the location of the arrowhead. Will the arrowhead be here or will the arrowhead be here? Let's see. It says it takes the orders directly from customer. It means the system takes from customer. So I'm going to paste. So I'm going to paste from here to here. So take note of how I dragged it. If not, you stress yourself on how to go on with the data flow. So it's just a drag between customer and system. Okay. So remember to put the name. So in this case, we are using orders. You can make your adjustments if you wish to do so. So I just drag this and put it here. So let's read on. It says, 
sent the coffee order to the barista who the system now in this case if we look at what we have in this tag UML, we really don't have any entity called barista so we'll go ahead and create another external entity and call that barista now what's the action between the system and barista it says sends the coffee order so we'll use the word coffee order coffee order so let's go ahead with the data flow i'll be sending from the system to barista and name that as coffee order just to make few adjustments Yeah, and next we have monitor goods sold and inventory and generate reports for the shop manager. Okay, so we we'll sum this as management reports for the shop manager. So let's see, do we have the shop manager? No. So we'll go ahead to create a standard entity for the shop manager. And name that as shop manager. Now, what relationship exists between the system and the shop manager? It's actually what we'll call the management report. So let's go in with the data flow from the system to the shop manager. And we'll call that management reports. we have a full stop so let's take on with the next thing here it says if the customer pays by credit or debit card to the system so let's hold on here now let's look at here we have customer and system so we are not creating something new we'll just go on with a new data flow which will show another relationship of what the customer is adding on. So it says the customer pays by credit or debit card to the system. So let's create another data flow from customer to the system. Okay, so take note, this is not supposed to overlap. So what happened at this point? It says, pays by credit or debit card so i'll go ahead to write the data information as credit card payments so let's read on it says the system will also send a cash withdrawal request to the bank so this is between system and bank so let's go back to the star uml do we have bank no. So it means we're going to create a new external entity and call that bank. Now, there's a relationship between the system and bank. And what's that? It says the system will send a cash withdrawal request to the bank. So we'll take on with the data flow between the system to the bank and write that as withdraw withdraw request and next we have the system will also send a cash withdrawal request to the bank and when approved what does that mean when the request is sent to the bank the bank will approve the cash withdraw for the system so that means the relationship exists between the bank and the system and that seems to be approval so we'll create a data flow from the bank to the system
and we'll call that withdraw approval. And lastly, we have the system will generate receipt for the customer. The system will generate receipt for the customer. Now let's take a data flow to go in from the system to the customer. I'll call that receipt. So we are done with the operation from this case study. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do well to watch my subsequent videos on data flow diagram and enjoy every moment while watching my channel so i'll be signing off now have a nice time bye